Hello and welcome to today's demonstration of Altair Breeze. Today I'm going to show you how to trace an application and then zoom in on the results to find out application dependencies as well as detailed I.O. patterns. To trace an application, simply wrap up your command with this trace program script. This comes with Breeze and has just one argument minus F followed by the location where you want to store the trace data. In this case, I'm storing the data to slash temp local disk. We recommend storing the data to local disk if possible. And then I follow that with the commands to run the application. In this case, I'm profiling a semiconductor application called Vivado. If you're running on a batch scheduler system, then you would send this entire command to your scheduler. So for example, for PBS, I would simply send this to QSub. I made this trace earlier on AWS. So let's load it into Breeze to see the results. Now the trace is opened, I can see an overview of the IO patterns in the IO summary. This separates the amount of time spent in IO into good, medium and bad. Bad IO are patterns that are always a waste of time. So small reads and writes, failed file system IO, statting or opening a file and that is never used. Medium IO are things that could be good, could be bad, depending on the context. And good IO are things like good streaming reads and writes, sequential IO and network IO. In this case, a lot of time is spent doing small reads and writes. That's often unavoidable, depending on the nature of the problem that's being solved. If I click on that, I can see which programs were the main contributors. In this case, it's not really surprising. The main contributor is Vivado. All of the views on the left show you information about the entire application. All of the views on the right show information about individually selected processes or files. In this case, I've selected Vivado. So I can see summary of what that application did over time. I can see bandwidth, operation count, CPU and memory. In this case, you can see that the number of reads roughly corresponds with the amount of metadata. Often that's because there is an open for every read, but we can zoom in and see if that's the case in just a moment. If I select different processes, that automatically updates on the right. Selecting the node view, I can see what that application did. I can see every open that it performed, as well as files it failed to open. I can see events over time. Every metadata operation, failed operations appear in red, whereas succeeded operations appear in blue. For each process, we also give you the arguments, system environment and system libraries. This is where Breeze is far more than an IO profiling tool. It gives you information about the full process tree, as well as how each process was executed. And so it's great for debugging those hard to find problems. Other views give you dependency information and I.O. summaries, but I'm going to switch back to the main views. In this case, it was obvious which was the main process to look at. But if you're not sure, you can also take a look at the full process tree in the timeline. The duration view lists processes by start time, end time, duration and by the amount of IO. So another good way to zoom in and find an application that is perhaps doing excessive number of deletes or excessive amount of data read or written. The files view is where we see application dependencies and is a key feature of Breeze. If I expand the location, you can see Breeze gives you a list of every single file that has been accessed within the application. You can sort by file name, by full path. If I expand this tab, I get more information on the mount point for that particular file. And looking at the columns on the right, you can see all of the IO operations that happen to that file. I can see reads, small reads, large reads, writes, seeks, and other operations such as opens, 
creates, deletes, syncs. And for each operation, we don't just give you the count, we also tell you how much time was spent. So here I can see that one particular file, there were a lot of open calls and a lot of time was spent. In this case, it's just the application checking on its own status. We also give you the same information broken down by directory. So if you have a lot of small files and want to see aggregated information for those files, you can see that here. We show you the network IO. So if you're debugging any license server issues, you can see that here. And finally, we show you IO profiling over time. Here we show you file system IO counts. These are broken down into reads, number of bytes read, writes, as well as metadata operations such as opens, creates, and deletes. All of this information is broken down by mount point. You can also see the performance of the file system in a lot of detail under file system IO latency. This breakdown is very useful for seeing not just how much time is spent in IO, but also what kind of performance you're getting from the file system and how that performance varies over time. Here we have the number of IO operations that fell into various performance buckets. And of course, broken down by IO type and mount point. Of course, all the information I'm showing you here can be exported from the GUI directly or via the command line APIs. A common use case for Breeze is to use the command line API to automatically export application dependencies that can be used to build containers or to migrate applications to the cloud, taking only the files and data that you need. The IO summary and advice on how to optimize your application can also be seen via the Breeze health check report. This is available as a command line option and can be exported along with the dependencies. For more information, please see the Breeze user manual. Thank you very much for listening today.